celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. A federal high court in Noshogbo, the Osho state capital, has affirmed Senator Ademola Adeleke as the authentic candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the July 16 governorship election. Prince Dr. Babayemi, a functional candidate of a group within the party, had approached the court to declare the governorship primary conducted by the group as authentic and affirm his candidature. It will be recalled that Adeleke led faction and Babayemi led faction held their March 8th governorship primary in different venues of the state capital, Oshobo. Delivering the judgment, the presiding judge, Justice Nathaniel Ayo Emanuel, said that Mbabayemi did not participate in primary election as he declared Adeleke as the authentic candidate. Counsel to the People's Democratic Party, Azim Abioye, and counsel to Ademola Adeleke, Olu Bada, said the judgment is a victory for the party. Uh, uh, it was a masterpiece and uh, is a welcome development. Uh, you will see that uh, his lordship went to turn in terms of uh, uh, the judicial decisions of superior courts. I mean the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal. Uh, and the settled position of the law is that uh, anything that has to do with internal affairs of a political party is not justiciable before any court of law. And if you are bringing any... Uh, if you are insisting any action in court with respect to the uh, conduct of primary election of a political party, it is only an aspirant who physically participated, physically participated at the said primary election that can raise a finger of complaint. That is the settled position of law. And that is what the court has decided, that uh, Prince Dotumbaba Yemi, a member of the PDP, an aspirant under the uh, platform of the PDP, but he failed to participate at the duly conducted Congress of the primary election uh, of the P I mean, co uh, duly conducted primary election of the PDP, which was held at Oshobo Township Stadium on the 8th of March 2022. Rather, he went to another primary election conducted by someone who called himself an acting state chairman of the party. That such primary election was not, uh, cannot be cognizable under the law. That is only the national leadership of the party that can, do, can conduct uh, uh, congresses of uh, a political party to nominate candidates. So on the basis of all that, the court held that it's like building uh, a structure on a collapsed foundation that it cannot stand. Alenging the suit had brought by Prince Dotu Babayemi as being incompetent, the court lacked jurisdiction. It's an internal affair of the party, and he has no local standard to bring such an action. In fact, it's actually a victory for the democracy of this country. Because looking at the nature of the action that was brought, when it was served to us, I was wondering how would somebody bring this kind of action? First, they predicated it on a certain a judgment of Washington State High Court, which actually uh, held that a certain preservative order of Falola J of 9th of November 2020 was valid. Even though Court of Appeal had set it aside since 5th of March 2021. But the Federal Court of Shubu rightly held, because we exhibited the judgment before the court, rightly held this morning that the same preservative order was accordingly set aside. Because the Court of Appeal allowed the appeal and resolved all the issues in favor of the appellant in that appeal. And set aside the decision, the decision of Falolaje, as well as the interim order that was earlier granted. So coming before any court to enforce a dead order, an order that had been set aside by the Court of Appeal, I think is even an abuse of process of court. So the Federal Court of Shogu rightly upheld the candidacy of Senator Ademola Adeleke as the flag bearer of the first defendant, PDP, in the forthcoming July 16, 2022, governorship election. Addressing journalists shortly after the court has said, the plaintiff, Prince Dr. Mbabayemi, promised that his next action and decision will be in the best interest of the people and the party. As we know, uh, the judiciary um, is responsible for interpreting our laws. And uh, we have had the ruling of the court. Uh, the court ruled on uh, uh, 
the local standee of myself uh, to challenge the primaries uh, that were held at the stadium. And uh, the judgment would be available within the next 24 hours. I want to say that this is purely uh, a family affair. We will take the judgment when it's available. We'll review it, not just with our lawyers, but with our people. At the end of the day, the most important thing is for A, justice to be done, B, for PDP to be positioned in a way that they can rescue the people of this state uh, from uh, the misrule that we've had over the last 12 years. This court is a court of record, but it is a court of first instance. I want to assure the people of Osho uh, uh, that whatever decisions, whatever next steps we're going to take, is going to be taken in the best interest of our party, in the best interest of our people uh, of Osho that have been in this situation for 12 years. Oh, Koyemi, Akiyemi, ABN TV News, Osho State, Nigeria.